Hello everyone, it's I, Pioneer, with another figure review. This time we have another of the Chibi Masters line. This right here is my force of this figure set. This right here is Trunks from Dragon Ball Super. This right here is the, the second figure of this line out of the five. With the other five figures, well the other four figures out of this five figure line. Being Super Saiyan Blue, Kaho Kang, Goku. Super Saiyan 3, Goku. And Super Saiyan Blue, Vegito. These three figures we did review in my previous reviews. And the only one left I need to get is Piccolo. Uh, I will say a little bit about this figure. When I got this, this thing was on clearance. There's a couple other figures. I actually got this pretty cheap at Target. But you can uh, probably find this at Target sale if you find it at your stores. But with that out of the way, now let's go with the unboxing of the figure. And we are back, folks. Now, like I said before, time to unbox this figure. I will say, when I got this figure, like, probably, I'm pretty sure it was, like, two months back. Uh, this was the only one left on the shelf. Well, this and I think Vegito were the only ones I was I saw on the shelves during last time when I got this. Which, last time I already had Vegito, so I really didn't need to buy it. Uh, well, what's it called? Trunks was the only one left with a couple of Vegitos and a couple of Super Saiyan Kaioken Gokus, but I already had them. The only one I didn't have, which I was kind of sad about, was Piccolo. Because I really didn't want to pick him up, but I guess that was not an option that time around. Hopefully, one day I'll be able to find that Piccolo figure. And, actually, I'm not going to lie. It's probably one of the easier box unboxing videos that we're going to do because I really don't have to do too much to unbox the video since it was all little tape right there, which is pretty nice. Let's be honest, with the whole Dragon Ball Evolve figures I've been unboxing, I'm not saying they're kind of difficult to unbox, it just was a cold. Me trying to conserve the box boxes has been kind of like a little bit of a thing of making the unboxes a little bit hard. And Trunks is already out of the box. I was not expecting him to be out that quick, as he was very loose. We'll finish off, open up the rest of this, and we'll see Trunks in a quick second. First things first, we gotta get Trunks' stand. Which is now out. The whole stand is out. That's pretty nice. So stand right there. And now let's go with Trunks. Overall, this is pretty nice. This right here is Trunks during the, during the I'm pretty sure, the Goku Black Arc. Because I'm pretty sure this is it. Uh, because of the style. Because I do have the other two Trunks figures that I did review. Both of them. Well, no. Reviewed one Trunks. The other Trunks, which is the... I think Dragon Series figure. I have yet to review that one. We will review that one when we get the chance to. Uh, but right here, this Trunks are in the uh, Goku Blackheart when he comes from the pa uh, comes from this future to go get everybody from the past, from the other timeline to try to help him out to fight Goku Black and Tamasu. Overall, looking at the figure, pretty nice. You can see the detail work is pretty nice. The sculpting, pretty good. Everything is colored detail wise. Overall, uh, future Trunks looking pretty nice. Uh... I always love about these chibi figures. There's one thing I do love about the chibi figures. They're pretty nice. They're pretty cheap. And for somebody who's starting out, you know, collecting figures and whatnot, this is actually a good start. And he can stand on his own. I'm pretty sure. Yep, right there. You don't really need anything else. You just stand by himself. Overall, pretty nice. Then we got the little display stand that we usually get for these guys. I'm pretty sure it goes this way. Right here. And then the little stand piece. See right here, there's the peg hole right here on his butt. <laughs> and that just attaches onto him, and boom, the stand is complete overall. Pretty nice looking figure, pretty detailed. You know what, let's do a little bit of comparison with the other figures that I have. And we're back, and let's do the comparison with the other three figures I have at the moment. We got right here the Kaioken Goku, or, got, uh, or Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Then we have base Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta right here. A lot of blue hairs. So I kind of feel like this Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku might be evolved, but that's probably it. I'm just assuming just because of the Kaioken uh, color and whatnot that his blue is a little bit more more darker. And then we have Super Saiyan 3. Overall, this uh, figure line set is almost complete. The only one that we are missing out of this, like I mentioned before, we are missing Piccolo. Hopefully, later down the line, I'm able to find that Piccolo figure. But let's pray. If not, I'm going to have to look online to find that. Because I'm not able to find it at the store. But overall, for start, for those who want to start out, you know, collecting and whatnot, there's actually a pretty good set right here. All, uh, the figures are pretty nice. All the detail work is pretty great. Trunks himself. I was hoping they actually do the Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Trunks or what was it called? Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. But you know what? Base Super Saiyan Trunks or base Trunks is perfectly fine. 
though I will say for those who are probably going to wondering, this is different timeline trunks, so this trunk right here is blue hair compared to main timeline trunks, who has purple hair, which is a mix of Bulmas and Vegeta's. Uh, because apparently, at least from what I found out in the comics, or not comics, in the manga, uh, Trunks' hair is blue, but apparently in the uh, anime or whatnot, they changed it to like uh, light, light, black, light purple. So that's a whole time, that's a whole thing, but eh, not bad. Overall, figure looks great. Detail work is pretty great. Looks pretty fine. Overall, pretty good figure and good for a good price as well. This thing cost. Well, this thing was on clearance, so when I got this, this thing was around uh, seven bucks. But usually these guys are around ten bucks, depending on your store or whatnot. It'll probably be around seven, depending if they're on clearance or whatnot. Overall, pretty good figure. Uh, pretty great figure to have on your shelf and whatnot to add to your collection, especially if you're somebody right now that's starting out, you know, collecting figures and whatnot. If you see these little mini chibi figures, I would collect them. It's a good line set to have in your shelves and whatnot. They don't take up too much space. They're pretty good. They're pretty cheap. They're generally around 10 bucks, which is pretty nice. Though, if you see in some, some stores and whatnot, they're probably going to be on clearance like you saw in mine. Mine's was on clearance for 7 bucks, so $3 cheaper, but that depends on the store. Usually, you can get these at Target. If not, you can probably go online, like on Amazon or whatnot, and try to get them as well. Uh, don't know how the prices are going to be on there, but like I said, I got mine at Target. This is the five figure set. This is number two out of all the five figures you can see right here. The other five, the other four figures, which I already showed Goku, Sun, uh, both Goku's in Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken, or Super Saiyan 3, then Vegeta right there, and then Piccolo being the last one, which, like I said before, hopefully I can find that Piccolo. But was out of the way. Overall, pretty nice figure. And yeah, I recommend it if you want to try to get collecting uh, more anime figures or Dragon Ball figures in general. But with that out of the way, folks, that is it for the video for TV Masters line trunks from Dragon Ball Super. And if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. And as always, folks, have a nice day. And it's Pirate Arden saying out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.